it's the cage. It's this, right? I guess. Oh, no, hold on. What are our options here? Uh. Receive from industrial center. Receive from Blimp Broom Cliff Mine. Cliff, cliff, cliff Mine. Shipment to dock ready to export main entering cage. I don't know which of these we want. Let's try receive from industrial center. 131 one, tin iron tin. Which one is tin and which one is iron? I guess the iron would rust that color, right? So was it one three one? Tin iron tin? Can I Oh, well. <laughs> hmm. Never mind. Uh okay. Still not sure what we did here. Shipment advice. It's important to keep weather conditions in mind when attempting to deliver a shipment overseas. Keep a record of pressure changes with a barograph. Be sure to sh schedule your shipment based on the readings. Pinwheel mines kept alive by New Deal with USA, which is right there. Good. I'm glad they found it on the map. Uh, to do. Check valve pressures. Random locker search. Order more coffee. Check weather reports. Order shipment confirmation. Immigrant employment scheme. Or training pressure relocation. Nick B. Fathom 380. He wasn't in there on the thing downstairs. I wonder if we have to write him in or something. Or training levels are unacceptable. Miners caught smuggling ore will be prosecuted. Can we put the hammer down here? Will it do us any good? Pinwheel Post, February 1st, 1961. Brimcliff Mine passes into new hands. Struggling company. The Brimcliff Mining Cooperative have, has agreed to be bought by competitor for 1.3 million pounds. Brimcliff stated that their competitor, the Cordish Mining Company, has offered to buy the troubled company. With the buyout, full acquisition of all investments and assets has been transferred to the new owners, which includes the struggling Brimcliff Tin Mine. Brimcliff Mine has been active for over 100 years, yet under financial pressure, the local tin mining company struggled to keep up costs for continuous expansion, with little tin being yielded and growing overhead costs. The buyout was inevitable. Okay. Ooh. That is a thing that has a lock on it, but I don't know what the lock combo is. Anything in here? Uh, I'm just gonna try putting down the hammer on everything that will allow me to put things down on it. You'd want a hammer anyway. I'm just trying to figure out because it was in the bathroom. Uh. Hello. Pretty sure. Hey, it's our last uh, ribbon for Brunkluff. Huzzah! Being on the outside. It's hard not knowing what we're going to encounter next within the mind. Your apostrophe if I'm honest, I hate you. It puts me on edge. It can't you on edge. If you do succeed, you'll have played a part in changing history forever. If I'm being truthful, I don't know how this process will affect you. Let's both plan for the worst and hope for the best. You're really terrible at encouragement. Well, Thanks. look at that. Excellent work, Restorer. Now that you have the artifact, return to the case and let's explore this second core memory. Alrighty. Success. Let's head on back to the case. Uh, we still haven't figured out all the puzzles in Brimcliff by a long shot, but um, I've <laughs> decided I'm not going to stress about that very much. So, let's go... 
Sorry about that, folks. I sat on my, uh, I sat on the mute button of my, uh, headset, but anyway. Uh, yes, yeah, so I was saying, let's go back and, uh, take a look at, uh, this thing in the case. Find out what's going on in the Pinwheel Industrial Core memory. Go towards the light. This business again. Is this the same room we were in before? Just keep on taking pictures of these areas. And, uh, when you finish the head, move around to the other room. Just try to make sure we can Alright, some kind of crime scene going on. Just keep on taking pictures of these areas. Uh, but we're gonna cross because we're rule breakers. And uh I'm wasting film. Gene, what did you do? Did you become a mass murderer? where the party was. Hmm. Is that everything? So we had a police investigation, someone sleeping upstairs, and someone cooking. Phyllis, I'm very confused. Wait. Why the hell? We're back here again. <laughs> I think I know why. You might finally have the power to fight this dementia effectively and destroy its symptoms. What are you waiting for? Let's do this. Destroy this dementia. Use your artifacts if you are restoring and destroy it. Okay. I'm so sorry, Jean. I don't think this is what you want me to do. I'm waiting for her to start screaming at me. Something's not quite right. Keep going. I'm pretty sure there's a lot that's not quite right about this situation, fellas. This reminds me of. <laughs> I was saying, there's some, some other game that I just played recently that this reminds me of, like, the aesthetic reminds me of. It's reminding me of the moment in Mass Effect 3 where you're killing the infected, um, Reaper, or Geth Code fragments. Uh, what's going on? I don't want to go down. I don't want to. Oh god.
That was the guy that we heard on the phone. Yeah, we're going to go here. Clicking left mouse to interact, bitch. I don't know what's happening. Uh -huh. You need to know. You need to see. This is it. The root of the illness. Use the artifact and cleanse this mind of the disease that plagues it. Use it now. This is the root of the illness. The root of the illness is the Ether Institute, Phyllis. Is that what you are trying to tell me? Yes, that's it. Use your full form. Your inner self. Doing my best. Good. You're doing a marvelous job. We really couldn't have done this without you. All that remains to be done is. Did you see that? Mm. My readings. Are uh, whoa, God! Not again! God damn it! Um, Phyllis, I'm gonna freak out. And my phone right. is going off. Can I pause? Good. Okay, <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, back. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, I ended up sort of killing the mood there, but uh, yeah, so we just tripped balls again. I don't know what's going on. I guess Jean had another relapse, either that or Phyllis is evil. I'm leaning towards Phyllis is evil. Let's keep moving. Phyllis, what the fuck? Um... Yeah, we also heard the voice of that guy who we heard on the phone. Uh. Oh, I don't want to. No, oh, Jesus! Oh my god! No! I'm scared the shit. Wait. I nearly knocked my headset off. <laughs> oh god, that scared the shit out of me. Hush. Shh, shh. Let's calm down for just a second. Take a deep breath. It's okay. No, please don't be sorry. Look, we're home now. Everything's fine. Here, let me turn on the lamp. I'm just making a cup of tea. Would you like one? I, I, I just wanted to see them. I'm so sorry. I, I just wanted to let them know that I was okay. Who? Who did you want to see? I, 
I wanted to see everyone at the Institute. I just wanted to say hello. What Institute? What on earth are you talking about? Please, can you, can you take me back there? Can you take me back home? But, Thomas, this is your home. Please. Why don't you sit down and relax? Okay. Who, who are you? What do you mean? You know who I am, darling. Don't you? Don't you? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. The memories around you are falling apart, and we're nearly out of time. Oh, yeah, I can move again. Um, okay, I think we're going to pause here, actually, uh, because uh, this game is freaking me out, and also because I have other things to do. Um, oh, I can't move. What are you, you, you lying bastard. Oh, I'm sitting in the chair. Okay, so I'm developing a theory. And that theory is that I think we're Thomas. And I think we're actually the one with dementia. And I think Jim, the guy who's been on the phone, is the guy who talked to us at the beginning. And I think... I'm not really sure what's going on at this point. Um... But... <laughs> I think uh, next time we will find out what the fuck we're supposed to do in this scene and go from there. Oh, I can't save. Excellent. Okay, well then, Phyllis. Um, whoa. Whoa, God. Uh, why can't I save, you bitch? Um, that's really not cool. Oh, look, it's a door to nothing, I think. Yes, good. Alright, let's trip balls some more, please. Maybe. Oh, good. Now what? Phyllis? Now can I save? Okay, good. Now I can save. Alright. <laughs> Well, it looks like we've ended up in a new uh, place to collect ribbons and such, so I'm going <laughs> to pause here. We're going to, uh, next time, we will, hopefully Phyllis will try in her uh, evil way to explain what the hell just happened, and uh, we will start collecting ribbons again, and it will be excellent. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more of Ether 1. Bye.